news from where you live. This is Alabama News Network at 10 on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daryl Hood. Up front tonight, the mother of a Selma murder victim is crying out for justice in the shooting death of her 18-year-old son. Reporter George McDonald has more in tonight's big story. News from where you live with Daryl Hood, Chief Meteorologist Shane Butler, and Sports with Adam Solomon. You're watching Alabama News Network at 10 on CBS 8 and ABC 32. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates again today, issuing the fourth 75 basis on Apple Podcasts. Expect more. This is 6 News at 10. And a good Friday evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Chris Radcliffe. And after hours of severe weather threats, the live radar looks a lot clearer now here in Central Texas. We've still got a few storms that are hanging around, but most of it has passed through. And while we didn't get any confirmed tornadoes, other areas certainly did. Now, these are videos captured across East Texas earlier today. Brian Allen captured this video in Paris. That's just up the road from Dallas. Look Powerful storms tear through parts of North Texas. Multiple reports of tornadoes, homes torn apart, and people going through what's left. We're seeing damage in multiple cities, and our crews are spread out to show you the aftermath. After a long day of tracking severe weather, tonight we're taking a look at the aftermath. Some of you took cover as reports of tornadoes and dozens of watches and warnings popped up across the area. You know, we're in the clear now, but some Texans east of the Metroplex are combing through what's left of their homes. Tonight we have crews speaking with witnesses near Sulphur Springs, gathering new information in Athens, and getting a look at the damage along the Red River near Paris, Texas. And that is where we begin. Kevin Reese is live in Powderly. Kevin, what is the city saying about injuries? Uh, well, they are telling us that there are right now at 10, a near record number of referendums, a closer look at why school funding formulas can force districts to ask taxpayers for help. And the La Crosse County Medical Examiner releases the cause of death for two men pulled from the river in two separate incidents. Plus, federal help for heating. The Biden administration rolls out a plan to help some families pay their winter bills. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Amy is off tonight. A near record number of Wisconsin schools can't afford the upgrades that they need. So they are. This is Idaho News 6. Here's look at your top stories. Almost 26 million college graduates in the U.S. have already applied for President Joe Biden's student debt relief program. But the breakfast show is sponsored by Southeast Health. Live, local, now. This is the breakfast show. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us today. It's looking like a pretty nice day outside today. Brian is here in the studio with more on that. Yeah, it is shaping up to be a pretty nice uh, Sunday for us. Having said that, it's a little chilly this morning with temperatures in the low to mid 40s and there looks to be a little ground fog out there too. Good morning, everyone. It's 6 a.m. on Thursday, November 3rd. I'm Jessica Jalal. And good morning. I'm Monty Webb. Hey, if you haven't noticed, it's cold outside. Oh. Uh, we gave you a heads up yesterday that we uh, were going to have a freeze warning in effect today. Mm -hmm. uh, the coldest temperatures we have seen so far this season. Right now on 13 on your side, the accused man of defrauding several out of thousands of dollars is making a big claim in court. We share details from inside the courtroom. Plus, as the election inches closer, we share some important deadlines that you should know. And the bell is back. Central Union High School wins over Brawley. We have reaction from players as 13 on your side at six starts right now. 13 on your side starts now. 
Good evening. Thank you for being with us. I'm Vinci Barra. We're learning more tonight about a story we previously shared with you. What we first reported as a shooting on Avenue B in 4th Place in Yuma turned out to be a bystander displaying a gun to break up an attack. It was not a shooting. Yuma County Sheriff's Office says the fight started over a domestic disturbance Monday morning and deputies say the bystander saw one person being attacked by multiple people. That bystander then stepped in, but again, no one was shot. One person was taken to Yuma Regional Medical Center. You're watching Hello Wisconsin with Bob Gallagher, Leanne Stapleton, and Skywarn 13 meteorologist Mike Dandria. This is WEAU 13 News. Good morning and hello Wisconsin. Today is November 4th and happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week and we might Good to see you on this Thursday afternoon. I'm Larry Miller. Let's take a live look outside right now. It is a beautiful day outside today. Today is certainly the day you want to be outdoors. Sunny, mild, a perfect combination. Now, your no wait 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast. Good morning, Mill, Georgia, and happy Friday to you. My name is Brick Nelson, and we're looking at downtown making right now. Courtesy of our 41 Sky View, brought to you by Piedmont Macon Medical Center. It is an absolute beautiful day today. We're seeing nothing but clear skies and sunshine. Temperature that in the full length forecast. This is 41 Today on 41 NBC. Good morning and welcome to 41 Today. I'm Chase Ambrose. Happy Friday to you. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office and U.S. Marshals make an arrest in connection to a deadly shooting that happened last month. Investigators say... Hail coming down around our area. Thanks for joining us today at 4. That's video our Maria Lizignoli shot. Uh, this afternoon, it is a first alert day because of the heavy rainfall that we are seeing tonight through tomorrow. And meteorologist Brian Dews joins us now with your first alert forecast. Yeah. We had a boy, it came through a couple of hours ago and. Live. From the German American Bank Studio in downtown Bowling Green, this is News 40 at 5 on NBC. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Ridgway. Thank you so much for joining us here for News 40 at 5. It's finally Friday, so let's start with the weather. Scott Burchett, what's it looking like out there? You know, right now, pretty nice. Got some breezy conditions going on, but nothing as far as any rain. As a matter of fact, live radar is dry. The green you see here, the lime green color, that's just... Right now on 21 Alive Morning News, another judge is taking the reins in the Delphi double murder case. We'll tell you why Judge Benjamin Diener re recused himself from the trial. And police identify the officer who shot a man earlier this week. What we know and how the victim's mother is reacting to the incident. And something sweet is coming to downtown Auburn. We'll talk all the details on what's happening tonight. From WPTA, this is 21 Alive Morning News. Good Friday morning, 21 Country. I'm Tony Benton Jr. And I'm Kayla Stewart. First this morning, let's get a check of the weather with meteorologist Nikki Petrus. Nikki, for people planning for the weekend, a uh, Saturday, not great. Sunday, perfect. Sunday, great. This afternoon, pretty good too. Yes. Yeah. From WPTA, this is 21 Alive News at 11. Good evening. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Linda Jackson. Brian McElhatton has the night off. Today, Allen County Commissioners revealed to us what a new jail might look like. Architect Corey Miller presented renderings of... This is ABC Columbia News at noon at home in the Midlands. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for ABC Columbia News at noon. I'm Lindsay Goodwin. Let's get right over to Tyler Ryan for a look at your Friday forecast. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, it's beautiful out there. Lands it sure. This is ABC Columbia News at 5 at home in the Midlands. 
Good evening to you. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Rochelle Dean. Thank you for joining us for ABC Columbia News at 5. Let's get you right to your forecast at 5. Chief Meteorologist John Farley standing by in the Weather Center with a look at how things are shaping up outside as we kick off the weekend. Hey, John. Yeah, we're for the best college football coverage, tune in to Gamecock Saturday night each. This is ABC Columbia News at 6 at home in the Midlands. Good evening, I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Rochelle Dean. After a months-long investigation, the South Carolina Office of the Inspector General has released its findings on the Richland 2 School Board, calling it dysfunctional. In fact, the investigation stemmed from a request from the... Running from the law, the search underway for a Des Moines teen after escaping custody. A roller coaster of temperatures is on the way this week. We're breaking down the changes in your storm teammate forecast. A fiery crash takes the lives of four Iowa teens. How the community is coming together in the face of tragedy. KCCI 8 News this morning starts right now. Oh, get up, stretch those legs. You got an extra hour of rest under your belt. Six o'clock on this Sunday morning, a live look through our Missing for months, but finally found parents' names relieved that their daughter is safe. And another week of ups and downs coming our way. We'll time it out. It's coming up. A time of mourning following a tragic accident in Marshalltown that took the lives of four teens. How the community is coming together in support of each other. We are just two days from midterm elections. Ahead are some of the top issues bringing voters to the polls this November. You're watching Local 5 News. New tonight, a missing 21-year-old woman from Ames, Irina Pagorilko. Pagorilko has been found. She talks about the moment it happened. And it's time to fall back. San Diegans get an extra hour tomorrow. Why some say we should just stay on daylight saving time year round. And $1.6 billion up for grabs in tonight's Powerball jackpot. We have your winning numbers. The news starts right now. This is CBS 8 News Live at 11. Tonight we are hearing from the woman who found herself inside the jaws of a shark off the coast of Del Mar. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Kirsten Holmes. The attack happened yesterday morning while she was swimming with her friend. C now on KCBW Action News 8, the Salinas Toy Drive has started. More on the two-day event that brought unique toys, comics, and much more. Plus, deadly storms going through Oklahoma and Texas. More in the aftermath as rescue efforts are underway. And our top story, the Central Coast favorite Phil's Fish Market makes a soft opening today. What the new location has to offer in Castroville. Coverage you can count on. This is KSBW Action News 8. Good evening, I'm Christian Balderas. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with a Central Coast staple, Phil's Fish Market. They had a soft opening today at their new location in Castroville. We sent go to the field. Sam Committee's coming at us live. All that and more starts right now. This is KRCR News Channel 7 at 11, the North States News. Wind, rain, snow, possible road closures. There's a lot going on this week. And gotta let you know about it to keep you safe. That's where we begin. Good evening. I'm Dylan Brown. Let's get right to first alert meteorologist Brian Schofield, who has been tracking this. I know before our shows, you approached me and the producer. You said this is going to get serious. People need to know about this. What's, what's happening this week we need to know about? Yeah, I don't want people to take a last-minute trek in the upper elevations thinking they can beat this storm or something like that. Uh, You're watching the News Leader, WDAY. Tonight at 10 on the News Leader. An ugly vandalism incident becomes an opportunity for Fargo Moorhead's Muslims to educate the public. Uh, we're just here to clear up any misconceptions that there are about our faith. We'll take you to the mosque's open house and tell you why local Muslims say this is their home too. Protests that started in Iran have made their way to Fargo. Why one protester says they aren't just looking for awareness. And from the college level to the playoffs in high school, we'll bring you all the action from the gridiron. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We had a pretty nice fall day today before the clouds rolled in this afternoon. Storm tracker meteorologist Robert Pointer has a first look at our forecast.
Yeah, outside right now, the clouds have moved their way in and behind it, we did have news that impacts you and your community. 13 on your side evening news starts now. Good evening, West Michigan. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Elena Holland. A litter of puppies are safe after being left.